Look at this. The sunflowers are growing. This is amazing. I even saw Derek frolicking through them earlier. He did mention the weeds. Hello everybody and welcome back to Survival Challenge. Almost forgot where we were then. Well, we haven't got any money. In fact, we've got negative £275. So we, basically, before we do anything else, we need to go and sell the wool. Oh, look at that. We've even got a couple more pallets of wool. Uh, right then. Let's get them onto the trailer. Gosh, this is slow at reversing. If we can pick two up at the same time, that'd be great. But yeah, before we uh, ask Derek to do his first job for the farm, we need to make some money to pay him. And thankfully, I think this will will make us all the money we need to pay him. Hopefully. I mean, he discussed quite a high rate with us. A little bit disappointed, to be honest. But, uh, you know, Derek is Derek, so what are you going to do, eh? Oh. Right. Uh, well, that's no good. Let's try and put them up there. Much better. <laughs> there we go. Just got to redo that strap. And everything will be fine. Yeah. Both be held on nicely now. Right, time to make the long trip up to the store because we can't do anything else until we've made some money. <laughs> so I'll see you up there and we'll see how much we're going to make. 14,000 litres isn't too bad. It shouldn't be. Yeah, should be able to make quite a bit of money off that. I'll see you there. Right, here we are. This is it. How much are we going to make? If one thing's for sure, it's going to put us back in the positive. Let's give it a go. £49,000. Actually, that is really not bad. Not bad at all. Well, that is going to allow us to put Derek to work herbiciding the field. In fact, while I'm here, I think I'm going to get a pallet of herbicide as well, or a couple of pallets of herbicide, because they'll need it. <laughs> here we go. We got the first herbicide, and the good news is that um, the store has bought its own forklift for us to use, which is amazing. Apparently, we've been such a good customer, they can afford this sort of thing just for me. It's fantastic news. And obviously, we've got the John Deere at the other end to get it off. Right, I'll put this back where they told me to, or where I picked it up from. Here. All right, there, love. Good, good. All right, let's get these strapped on. We'll head back down to the farm. All right, so here we are. I can stay there for now. I'm just gonna get the John Deere. 
can get the pallets off so we can fill up Derek when he needs to be filled. See if we can get two at once here. I don't know. But give it a go. Oh yes. This is a cracking front loader tractor. It really is. The only thing at fault, at fault well two things that are at fault. One is reverse speed and secondly the brakes. It really hasn't got any brakes. Right then, let's get this sorted out for Derek. So at the minute it's got 2% herbicide in it. He will obviously need more. Let's fill that up. Right. I'm going to go have a chat with him. And we'll send him off on his merry way. Right. Now Derek... Derek's off. He did say he's going to change his appearance a lot because he doesn't want anyone to know what he really looks like. Um, so yes, he is wearing disguises. But no, he's off on his first... his first job there. Which is great. Alright, I'm going to pop this trailer here. Because while Derek's doing that, we're going to be mowing our new new plot of land. And making lots of silage. At least that's the plan. There we go. Right then. So if... I don't know if we can... Check on Derek from here. Make sure he's alright. Oh, there he is. In the distance. It looks like he's doing okay. Well, I'm sure we'll get some sort of text message if he's not. I'm a little bit apprehensive about leaving all that to him, but um, we just have to trust him, I suppose. What's the worst that could happen, eh? Don't answer that. Do not answer that. Right then. Look at that. Fully grown, beautiful grassland. Ready for me to cut up and silaginate. Oh, yes. That's the swath we like to see. Oh, no. Small trees. Um, am I going to fit through here? Possibly not. There we go. Thank God. I fit. <laughs> last thing I wanted to be doing is mowing up my crop. Although I'm not sure it's grown enough to worry about that yet, but I still don't want to do it. This is going to be a nice big load of silage. My first time into the new field. Gotta work out how far it goes and everything. I'm not gonna make things too difficult around the trees. If there's clumps of trees, we're just gonna go 
around them like this. We will be taking all the little trees down at some point. Um, we'll probably leave a big clump like that there. But all the small trees on on their own out here, because uh, when we do turn this into an arable field eventually, then we'll need to uh, yeah we'll need to take them all down so that there's no nothing in the way of the combine. Not even over at the edge, am I? Never mind. I think there's going to be plenty of grassland here, don't you? Right, I'm going to get on with um, getting all this cut. We've nearly done our first full lap, but that's, there's a lot of field here. A lot of grass. Right, we'll keep an eye on Derek at the same time. But essentially, we'll try and leave him to it. And we're going to crack on with this as best we can as well. Okay. That's one full lap done. I'll see you. And we've cut everything and we'll have a check on Derek Wow. It says Worker Derek has completed their task already. Well, let's go check it out. That doesn't look overly complete. Let's have a look at the map. Mm, in fact, that looks extremely incomplete. Derek! He's just missed loads out. Well, let's see if we can start him off again from here and out, see how much of the rest of the field he can manage. So that was uh, it's a little bit ridiculous. He's getting paid by the hour, and he's not working the hours. So he's not getting paid, as far as I'm concerned. Go on, Derek, off your pop. Right. And what's stopping you there? No, no. Oh, Derek. Derek, Derek, Derek. They do say if you want something done right, do it yourself. But I was giving him an opportunity here. This is an opportunity, Derek. Don't mess it up. Right then. Back to my job.
Right, well given that my money's not ticking down anymore, I think I might have missed a message to say that Derek had completed his task again. I've got a feeling that he hasn't finished the rest of the field. It's just a feeling. But let's um let's check it out, shall we? Oh look. I was right. Come on, Derek. What do you want me to do? Hold your hand through the whole thing or are you just stopping to go for a break? Hey, okay. we're stopping for a break each time. All right, go on off your pop again. See if we can get them all now. Honestly, might have to reevaluate this whole situation, Derek. If you're not going to play ball. Look at the state of the field. He hasn't even done half of it. Right. I need to be able to get on with my jobs, you know. I don't think Derek understands jobs such as feed the cows or water the sheep. <sighs> Never mind. Once again, why do I feel like I've missed a message? <sighs> this is becoming uh, exceedingly tedious. Exceedingly tedious. In fact, look, what's he? He missed. He missed everything all over this way. Why is all this missed? Look, there's weeds everywhere. Weeds everywhere. My dear boy Derek, you are pushing my patience. Right then. If I send you off this way, will you complete the bits you've missed? Or will you just give up and go home again? Well, let's leave you to it and see how you get on. I'll carry on with this. Right, once again I have noticed that the money stopped going down, which means that Derek has decided to pack up and go home again. Basically, it seems like he's lazy and it's all too hard. So after we've done this bit of mowing here, and finished this off, which is very, very, very close. What we're going to do is we are going to go and tidy up what he's done so far try and make it easier for him to finish and then set him off again while we're bailing I won't be holding my breath anyway that's the mowing done for today 
left it all fairly easy to bail. So it should be fairly good. I imagine that we need more herbicide soon anyway. Well, that's us done for the uh, mowing today. So what I'm going to do is pop these back in here. I've just had a horrible thought. If things don't work out with Derek on the farm, I'm going to have to fire him. And then things will get worse than they were before. And they were pretty bad before. Ah, oh, no. I've already trapped myself into some sort of problem here. I think I might have done. Oh dear. Right then. Got 21% left in the... Uh... Oh dear. That's why he stopped. Because he's stuck. I've been paying for him to spin his wheels. Oh, dearie me. Right. I'm going to whip round and tidy it all up. And then hopefully he can do the last bit. Right then, I've squared that up a little bit. I'm going to set him going off the field this way. And see uh, see if that's any better. I need to get back to the bailing now. Now that we've tidied up that mess. Although I'm not going to say it's fully tidied. One thing's for sure though, I think for next year I need to get a bigger sprayer. That little one's brilliant, but it, yeah, it's not very wide working width. And there are plenty more out there that I could get. Right then. What are we set to? 220. That's right, isn't it? With the middle one. Yep, 220. There we go. There we are. We're producing bales. So, I will keep an eye out for messages from Derek. And we'll see how he's getting on. Once again, we have a stop, Derek. I think he stopped a little while ago, but I've only just noticed. Ugh. It's a mess. What's he playing at? Well, we can only try again. Let's send him up and down again this time.
obviously if I get a bigger sprayer things will get better because it'll cover a wider area it'll sense more weeds and it'll keep going for longer however it will get tangled up in more trees off you go again Derek and in the meantime I shall crack on with making bales again Right, well, I am fully aware that Derek finished a while ago, but I wanted to get the baling done. Let's have a quick look at uh, how his field is. Huh. Well, there's plenty for me to tidy up there, isn't there? First of all, though, I would like to get the bales wrapped. Because that herbic herbicide spraying doesn't need to be completed today. It'd be nice if it was, but it doesn't need to be. Whereas the wrapping of the bales does need to be so we can make more money. Right, if we get the baler back into the shed here. There we go. Let me pick up the wrapper. Excellent. I may have to limit Derek to jobs in the future that um, just involve him following me, but we'll see. Right, here we are. What I believe is the last bale to be wrapped. And that was not a quick job. How many bales did we make today, in fact? Uh, let's have a look at the statistics. Bales produced 72? Crikey. That's quite good. Now, I'm going to be a bit of a genius about this last bale. This is the last one I've wrapped, so it will be the last one to fully ferment. And I'm going to bring it over and leave it next to our house. And that way, we can check on it 
and as soon as it's fermented we'll start picking them all up and taking them to the sale point genius I say absolute genius so let's just drop it off here yeah absolute genius we'll fold this up and we'll stick it back into the garage so um, yes after all that malarkey today I am most unimpressed with um, with Derek's work he might do better at something like cultivating or something like that but at the minute all we've got to go on is what he's just done and it wasn't good so uh, we'll be having words and it looks like I'll probably have to sort out the mess of that field next time tomorrow in fact so until then thank you so much for watching and I will see you again very soon Bye for now.